What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're, we're doing kind of an experiment. As y'all know, I'm from Kentucky. Born and raised, I've always lived in Kentucky. And you know, growing up in the South, you kind of grow to love this certain beverage. You know, in my opinion, this drink is a top five drink of all time. Now you ask some people, I know people that got it in their top three. Hell, I know people that got it in that one spot. It's a debate that's been going on for many, many years. You know, it's kind of like... Michael Jordan versus LeBron, Messi versus Ronaldo. But no matter what, it's always up there with the greats. And that drink is Southern Style Sweet Tea. You ask a lot of Southerners, they'll say Southern Style Sweet Tea is like a nectar of the gods. I know some old folks that say Jesus H. Christ himself wrote the recipe for Southern Sweet Tea. But in that recipe, no matter who you are, if you want to make Southern Sweet Tea, you got to have at least one thing. Lipton Iced Tea Southern Sweet Tea Bags. It's either these or the off-brand. There's not really that big of a difference. It's just like if you want to save like 75 cents, you get the off-brand. But for the most part, if you're going to make Southern Sweet Tea, these are the tea bags you're going to use. Now, if you're a subscriber, if you watch watched the channel for a while, you know I've tried the English or British style tea before. And I like it. I really do. Like, actually, me and Anna, look, I'll show you. Me and my girlfriend drink this damn near every morning. Yorkshire toast and jam. This stuff is gas. Like, this is fire. <laughs> but earlier today, I got to thinking, what if I made American Southern sweet tea, but instead of using these right here, our much beloved Lipton sweet tea bags, instead of using these, I use these. I picked these up today at Walmart. These are quaint Twinnings? Twinnings? I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Twinnings of London. 100% pure black tea. English breakfast decaffeinated. I've tried this one before. It's pretty good. So what if I used a British tea style tea bag, an English breakfast tea bag, to make southern sweet tea? I know. I, I How many subscribers do I have? Like 87,000? I just made 87,000 plus people cringe. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to try it. I really do. You know, I like the Southern Sweet Tea and I like the British Style Tea. So what if I use the tea bags y'all use in your type of tea to make Southern Style Tea? Now, as y'all know, there's a million and one different ways to make sweet tea. You know, I've seen people make it in a microwave, make it with a kettle. Hell, I've seen people make it in a coffee maker. Everybody has their own style and their own way of making sweet tea. So we're just going to do it the way I've always done it, use the recipe that I've always used. But the way I like to do my Southern Sweet Tea is I like to boil water just on a pot on the stove. I feel like that's like the easiest way to do it. So for mine, I put three cups of water in the pot. There's one. There's two. And there's three. And like I said, this is the recipe to make half a gallon. So if you were gonna make a full gallon, like this picture right here, if you wanted this full thing, you just double all of this. So yeah, pot on the stove, three cups of water, by the way, if you're doing anything on the stove and you don't use the bottom left burner to start off, there's something wrong with you. But we're just gonna throw that sucker on high, get her boiling. And now as we wait for that to start boiling, we're gonna add the sugar. This pitcher is gonna have the Southern Sweet Tea using the Lipton tea bags. And then we'll use this little one for the one with the British tea bags. And for sugar, we just got some good old great value, pure granulated sugar. So let's crack this bad boy open. Bada boom. Now for half a gallon of tea, I like a cup and a half of sugar. And that's honestly on the low end. I know people that put two and a half, three cups of sugar. Three cups, I'm serious. Three cups of sugar in half a gallon of tea. I know them, bro, I see them out there. That's way too much for me. I like a cup and a half and then three cups for a full gallon. And sometimes if I make a full gallon, I don't even put three cups, I maybe put two and a half. There's one. About half. There we go. There she is. That's how much sugar is in this tea. <laughs> now you gotta remember, this is a full gallon, so we're only filling up to about right there with tea. So. I'll admit, it tastes good, but it's definitely not good for you, all right? But as we're still waiting for the water to start boiling, it's getting close. Go ahead, crack open the Lipton tea bag. <laughs> there they are. The Lipton tea bag. All right, so the water is about on the edge to where it's about to start really boiling. And that's usually when I like to throw in my tea bags. So for half a gallon of tea, I use three tea bags in the three cups of water. So three cups of water boiling, a cup and a half of sugar in the pitcher, and then I add three tea bags to the boiling water. Let's just go ahead, throw them on in there. I usually like to rip these cardboard things off just because, I don't know. It, it feels weird to put cardboard in my my beverage, so I don't do it. <laughs> and then let's just grab this little spoon right here, dip them in there, and boom. Hey Siri, uh -huh. set a timer for six minutes. 
six minutes counting down bada boom so yeah water's boiling i add the tea bags in there and then i let it boil for about six minutes and then once the six minutes is up i'll actually take it off and let it rest for about two so yeah i'm gonna let this cook and uh, i'll see y'all in six minutes bada boom there we go six minutes is up let's go ahead turn the oven off take it off the heat and now set another timer for two minutes and let it sit for two minutes but yeah we gotta wait for the two minutes but once we do the taste test later on in the video y'all stay tuned because my girlfriend anna will be home here in like an hour and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna hand her two glasses not tell her which one's which and see if she can tell the difference and see if she knows which one was made with the lipton and which one was made with the british tea bags i think that's gonna be the true test because she does she has no idea i'm even making this video right now so just handing her two things putting her on the spot we're gonna see which one she likes better and if she can actually tell the difference Two minutes is up, so the tea is officially ready. Now, what I like to do is I like to take it and pour it directly into the pitcher with the sugar already in it. And before we add any type of cold water to it, I like to stir it up really, really well with just the hot boiling water in there. Because I feel like it helps like the sugar melt a little bit and actually get mixed in pretty well with the tea. And then we'll add the cold water. Always, always, always do this over the sink. I'm telling you... <laughs> Bada boom. And now we get to stir. Get all that all that sugar nice and mixed up. All right. There we go. Nice and mixed in. Now the pretty much last step, add your cold water. I like to mix it while I'm adding the water. It probably doesn't make a difference, but and we can go a little bit more. Just a little a tad bit more. Boom. There we go. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is half a gallon of American Southern sweet tea made with Lipton tea bags. A nectar. I mean, just an absolute nectar. Oh. And now I'm just going to put it in the fridge and leave it in there while we're making the other batch of tea. They're both going to be served cold anyway, so it shouldn't make that much of a difference. But all right, there we go. The Southern sweet tea made with the Lipton iced tea bags is done. Now we're going to crack open. The twin, twin, twinnings, twinnings. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hundred percent pure black tea English breakfast. We're going to do the same exact steps. I'm not going to take y'all through everything again. Just instead of using the Lipton, we're using the twinnings. I washed the pot out. So there's no cross detamination here. None of that. A fresh pot, fresh water, fresh pitcher. I've been beating the hell out of the bottom of this cabinet. Jeez. We're going to cook it for six minutes. Let it sit for two. We're going to stir it the same way. Add the same water. Everything perfectly the same. This being the only difference. Let's get to it. ladies and gentlemen, is American Southern style sweet tea, but made with British style tea bags. We're gonna do the same thing, set her in the fridge. We're gonna give them about 45 minutes to cool down. Just a little bit, you know, they're not gonna be like super cold or anything, but that doesn't matter because y'all already know, we're gonna put ice in them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'll see y'all here in about 45.
But all right, guys, here we go. Both of the teas are ready. And of course, sweet tea always tastes better. Drinking out of a mason jar. So the first one we got here, we're gonna do the American sweet tea in the ball mason jar. Y'all can't barely see that. But here we go, the first pour. Oh gosh, yeah. Nectar of gods, I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, there's that one. Set it right there. And here is the Southern sweet tea, but made British style tea bags. All right, so instantly noticing a different color. Instantly, it's not as dark. Y'all probably can't tell that much on camera. Uh, you can kind of tell. This one is a lot darker. The American made with Lipton is a lot darker. But now, the only thing left to do is the taste test. So since I know what this one pretty much tastes like, let's go with the Southern Sweet Tea made with the Lipton tea bags. Here we go. A little ASMR. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, mm. that right there is some good tea. That is probably one of the best teas I've made in a while. Okay, okay, yeah, that's good, that's good, hang on. That one's good, but that's not the one we're here for. Let's uh, get some water, cleanse the old palate. Now, the one we're here for, the Southern Sweet Tea, but made with British style tea bags. Here we go. Anna is going to have no clue which one is which. I'm telling you. That's good. That's good. Hang on now. Hang on now. Okay, so the big difference for me, the one with Lipton. So these Lipton tea bags, they say no artificial flavors, no colors added. Nothing added, blah, blah, blah. I feel like they add some type of sweetener to it. Because the big difference between both of them is the one that's made with Lipton tastes a lot sweeter. This one made with the Twinnings, it has more of a tea taste and less of like the sweet sugar taste. That's like the biggest difference. Besides the colors, the colors are a little different, but the sweetness of it. These, This one definitely has some type of sweetener added. Okay, so right there. I don't know if y'all will be able to see that. That says sucralose, sucralose, a non-nutritive, that's a, these are big words back here, all right? Non-nutritive sweetener. That's it. That's got to be it. That sweetener gives it that pure sweet tea taste, I feel like. Like the sugar, it makes it sweet already, but that stuff they put in those tea bags definitely makes it a lot sweeter. And this one, it's still sweet because it has a cup and a half of sugar in it. It better be sweet. But it has a better tea taste. Like, this one doesn't taste that much like a good tea. You feel me? But honestly, that's probably the only difference. I think... I think I like the Twinnings British-style tea bags better. Oh, my gosh. I think I do. Like, I think I do. I think I do. It's... Oh my gosh, I think I do. I think it's better. I really do. Now that sweet taste of Southern Sweet Tea, that's what you're here for. You're here for the sweetness. So the Lipton is fire. It's good. It's what I've known my whole life. But this right here, this is good. This is really, really good. I don't think it's going to take the place of the Lipton simply because like this is just a staple. I'm so used to that. But if you were to just make it with this and serve it to a bunch of random people, they wouldn't tell. They couldn't tell the difference. And most of them would probably be like me and like the one made with the Twinnings better. So rate both of them on a scale from 1 to 10. The Southern Sweet Tea made with Lipton, it's a 9. It's a 9 for me, bro. Like I said, this is a top 5 drink in my books. <sighs> Nothing really gets better than that besides this. This right here is a 9.5 in my books. This is really really good like i said probably not gonna make the switch and only use this when i make sweet tea probably still gonna use the lipton just because i'm so used to this taste and i love the taste of this but this is better 
This is better. It's a better tea. That surprised me. That really, really did. I didn't think it was going to be good. I really didn't. But hey, like I said, I'm kind of influenced with the knowledge of knowing which is which. So I'm going to put these back in the fridge. And when Anna gets home, we'll get her opinion and see if she can tell a difference, see which one she likes better, and then let her know which one's which. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. Mikey, it's not for you. Yeah. Right? Uh, no. I don't know why you look directly at the light. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing. I thought I was looking at the camera. But all right, right here, we got two different types of teas. Okay. So you're going to drink both of these and you're going to tell me what you think. If right? it's unsweet, I'm going to throw up. It's not unsweet. Okay. But I just, I just, I just need you to taste one, taste the other one, and then tell me what you think. Okay. That smells weird. <laughs> she just said <laughs> that me. <laughs> They taste the exact same. Really? This one's a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. This one reminds me of like a McDonald's tea whenever the like the good employees working and they put a whole like pound and a half of sugar in it. Kind of tastes weird. And like, I don't know, like back here, it tastes a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, what's the word I'm looking for? Aftertaste. There That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. That tastes like tea that we get. Like Lipton. That's the tea that we get, right? Yeah. Lip Lipton. All right, well, this one. I feel like they're the same thing. This one that you just said is Lipton? Yeah. I made with English style tea bags. That one is made with Lipton. But you pretty much said the exact same thing I said that that one just tastes a lot sweeter. Yeah. And then that one has more of like a tea taste. Yeah. I like this one a little bit better. Mm hmm That's what I said, too. Yeah, I still feel like somebody at McDonald's made that. Yeah. I feel like that has a, a fake sweet taste to it. Yeah. I made southern sweet tea with English tea bag. Are you going to make them mad with doing that? Probably. Oh. So. <laughs> it's better tea. If that makes them feel any better. Yeah. I, thought, I like that one I like better. it. Yeah. In all honesty, I don't discriminate against any kind of tea. No. I will drink every kind of tea. Like, I have toast and jam tea. Mm-hmm in the cabinet right now I struggle. that's my go-to <laughs> i like this tea better though yeah, it's, sweet. it doesn't taste as fake yeah you literally said like the exact same thing i did so y'all know i ain't lying now <laughs> but all right guys that is going to do it for today's video making american southern sweet tea using british tea bags if y'all want to see more videos like this maybe we could make british style tea using american tea bags and try that it's not gonna go well. The old, the old, the old switcheroo. Let me know by hitting that like button. If y'all are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100k once we do get a UK theme tattoo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure y'all got today. Spread love, spread kindness, do something nice to somebody today. I love you guys so much. I really do. JT. Banana. Margaret. Maggie. <laughs> oh, she's over eating my mac and cheese off the plate. You bastard. Maggie. JT, I'm out. Peace.